This month, the Mobile Arts Council's gallery at room 1927 is featuring four different artists in two exhibitions. Lenizio works by Freddie Blosh, Trey Johns, Engage Nobles, as well as Alabama Astronaut, the folk art of Abe Partridge. You saw this first piece in the window. We're gonna start off with Abe's work. You guys saw outside, I'm actually sporting a pair of Abe Converse's. I'm personally a big fan of his work and he was the winner of our Throwdown fundraiser competition last October. And we're very excited to be showcasing a solo exhibition of his work for the month of April here in the gallery. Abe Partridge is from Mobile, Alabama. He left Mobile when he was 18 in pursuit of a theological education. You can see that influences a lot of his artwork. After attending four Bible colleges in four years, he became the pastor of a small independent Baptist church in the Appalachians of Eastern Kentucky at only 25 years old. When he was 27, Abe became acquainted with a horrible depression, left the ministry, and turned to art. Abe has written songs and made paintings like the ones in this exhibition ever since. Only after joining the military and going to war did he decide to begin sharing his art with the world. Abe has never taken even one songwriting class or art class. He is completely self-taught, which we call, as in his title, a folk artist. His artwork is very unique. It's made with roofing tar that is thinly applied to plywood, musical instruments, old damaged vinyl records, and whatever else he can stick it on. And you can see the black lines where he is carved into his artwork. A lot of Abe's work not only is unique, but it's interactive. <laughs> True love will keep you spinning. So another, another interactive piece of his, which if you come by to see it in person, you can play with yourself. Or you can actually record by hitting this red button and then replay your recording and adjust the pitches with this knob. You can hear, I think Abe has a recording on here for us. Let's turn that off. <laughs> this piece right here, this mannequin, is not for sale, but the majority of the rest of his exhibition is. So you'll have to come, check out his work. Get yourself an original A Partridge. Many of his pieces you'll see are inspired by musicians. Because Abe is a very musical guy. Let's see, here's another interactive piece right here. Let's turn on the nose. Don't you love it when people play your teeth? We've got a handful of small pieces too for sale by Mr. Partridge. He pursues art full time, so he is particularly prolific. So we have got about a hundred pieces of his on display this month. If you're interested in any of these, please give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll let you know how much it is, and if it's available. I 
<laughs> You'll see some reoccurring themes, many religious themes. We've got lots of chickens. <laughs> Lots of musicians. So this tar is cured for 30 days before he carves his images in it with a screwdriver or an ice pick. Finally, he paints the tar with acrylics and seals it with clear sealer. This is one of our favorite walls right here with all the records. Each one has unique painting reflective of the musicians. And these, of course, were all very badly damaged records, so they did not go to waste. They are given new life through Abe's artistry. And he's got a lot. Here. Got some ghost cowboys. <laughs> Here's another interactive piece. Little children chasing chicken, chasing little children. <laughs> Who's chasing who? Very clever repurposing of an old globe. And if you have not heard the music of Abe Partridge, you will have to follow him on social media where he keeps you updated on his happenings as a visual artist as well as a musical artist. We've had people that have spent hours in here reading every bit of text on each of these pieces. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Can't forget the birdhouse. <laughs> this is a birdhouse. Got a dancer over here. As well as another interactive piece. Let's turn on the switch. And please, if you come in, be gentle and see. I'm sure it's very scary in the dark. Continuing on, got some more records. Who doesn't like Elvis? Come get you a record. And then this wall is one piece entirely. We 
We've got the 11 disciples. Judas not included since he killed himself. You can see by this piece close to the window that there's a very interesting texture on these pieces from the tar. And then wrapping up Abe's work right here. The handful of smaller pieces. <laughs> and these actually, these are funny. are actually filled with liquid <laughs> and bubbles are going through them. There we go. But please do not pick those up in the gallery. Now we move on to Lenizio, works by Freddie Blosh, Trey Johns, and Gage Nobles. We're going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about Freddie, who we've had a long relationship with with at the Arts Council through our Art Walk vendor opportunities and markets. So Freddie was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama. He began working with glass in the fall of 2013 at the University of South Alabama. After his first semester of the glass blowing elective, Freddie switched to a full-time pursuit of a BFA with a concentration in glass and secondary concentration in sculpture when he, which he received in the fall of 2017. And all of these blown vessels are Freddy's, which is why I'm specifically showing them right now. His personal style of glass blowing is derived from the Venetian techniques with a funky Southern twist. Most of his work is influenced by the natural surroundings on the Gulf Coast. While learning glass blowing in school, Freddie teamed up with his better half, Caroline, and their, his friends, Gage and Trey, to form the group Muffin Jaw Designs, who if you attend Art Walk, you will see routinely set up as one of our vendors outside. And occasionally you will find with their portable glass blowing studio at events. Those are all works by Freddie. We've got Trace Johns. He is a glass artist and sculptor, also hailing from Mobile, Alabama, and who received a BFA from the University of South Alabama with a concentration in glass blowing and secondary concentration in sculpture, which is evidenced by the unique take on his work and use of multimedia. His artistic taste centers around abstract expressionist works and street art. Most of his work is hot, sculpted glass objects with gestural, sometimes crude looking painting and sculpting techniques on top of the glass. The juxtaposition of the traditional thinking that glass is an elegant, beautiful form in the abstract gestural painting, often reserved for expressionist and street art, is important to him in his work. He desires for people to carefully examine his pieces so that they see past the crudeness and find the beauty.
So now we're gonna move on to Gage Nobles, who was also born and raised in Mobile, Alabama, and started blowing glass in 2015 at the University of South Alabama. Primarily focusing on Venetian style works, he specializes in goblets and stemware, as shown here. Attempting to go as thin as and light as possible while maintaining a straight and centered body of work. Though Gage does not consider himself an advanced glass blower, he hopes to one day be as good as the master glass blowers. Together, these three artists make up muffin jaw designs who make functional and decorative glass art for home and garden, as well as seasonal products. This collaborative team also performs live glass blowing demonstrations with their portable glass studio. And if the weather is too bad during Art Walk Night, we will reschedule their live glass blowing demo for later this month. That's it for us. Please stop by and see the exhibitions. Our regular hours are Wednesdays through Fridays from 10 to four, and we will be open extended hours for Art Walk Night until 9 p.m. and as well as on Sunday, April 25th from one to 4 p.m.